thou hast a careful father, child. One who, to put thee from thy heaviness, hath sorted out a sudden day of joy, which thou expects not, nor I look not for. Madam, and happy time, what day is that? Mary, my child. Early next Thursday morn, the gallant, young, and noble gentleman, Sir Paris, at St. Peter's Church shall happily make thee there a joyful bride. Now, by St. Peter's Church and Peter too, he shall not make me there a joyful bride. Here comes your father. Tell him so yourself. How now, wife? Have you delivered to her our decree? Ay, sir, but she will none. She gives you thanks. I would the fool were married to her grave. Oh, will she none? Is she not proud? Doth she not count her blessed? Unworthy as she is, that we have wrought so worthy a gentleman to be her bride! Not proud you have, but thankful that you have. Proud can I never be of what I ate! Take me not, thank kings! Not proud no! now! But fetch your fine joints and slice thy legs! Hear me with patience! No! Young baggage, disobedient rat! In heaven, bless her! You are to blame, my lord, to rape her so! Hey, you mumbling fool! I tell you what, get thee to church a Thursday, or never after look me in the face. When you be mine, I give you to my friend, and you'll be not hang, beg, starve, die in the streets! Trust to it, we think you! I will not be persuaded! <laughs> bed in that dim monument where Tybalt lies. Talk not to me, for I'll not speak a word. Do as thou wilt, for I have done with thee. What sayest thou? Hast thou not a word of joy, some comfort, nurse? Hey, hear it, peace. I think it best you marry with this Paris. He's a lovely gentleman. I think you are happy in this second match, for it excels your first. Oh, if he did not, your first is dead. Or twere as good he were as living here, and you no use to him. Speak yourself from thy heart. And from my soul, too, else beshrew them both. Amen. What? Well, thou hast comforted me marvelous much. Go in and tell my lady I am gone, having displeased my father, to Friar Lawrence to make confession and be absolved. 